What's up guys, this is Ronnie, your go-to Canva guru. Today, back with a new tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to insert a gradient in your text. So uh, using text with a gradient inside could be very interesting if you want to create something that really pops out, uh, something that is a little bit flashy for one of your social media posts or for your website or your newsletter or whatever. So in order to accomplish this, I'm going to open a new document with the presentation format, but the format doesn't really matter too much here. And we are going to be using the letter frames. So if you go under the elements tab, okay, and you search for frames and all frames, if you scroll down, you will see that there, is, there are a bunch of letters here and these are actually uh, frames. So that means you can pour an image into each of these letters. So let's uh, write a simple word, for example, um, free. Let's write free, F-R-E-E, -E, because that's what we all want, right? We all want to be free. Me personally, I'm very happy to be free free to do whatever I want with my days, free to do the job that I love every day and not have to go to the office and work for a boss. <laughs> I feel very free in my life. So that's very cool. Uh, freedom is important. We all we have fought some wars for freedom. So basically one of the most important word in the English dictionary. So free. There we go. Let's have a background. Uh, I want to have a high contrast. So I'm going to have like a black and white ish background. So let's see if I have imported some interesting background gradients in the textures. I think I have here in my textures. Let me see all of them. Something. Yes, like this. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see if I have a dark. OK, I'm going to be using this one. Yes, this one is going to be nice. So in order to put this across the whole document, I'm going to add another frame. Or actually a grid, not a frame. If I use in my elements this grid right here and I will be pushing this well, first, I'm going to put my visual inside of it. Okay, here. So we said this one. Nice. And I'm going to click on this and position this in to the back. Boom. Now we have free and we have. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And center it like this. Now, all we have to do is to find a nice gradient and insert it inside of our letters. So we could insert a gradient with some kind of patterns like this one could be nice. Let's see how that look. So F R E E. So that looks pretty good. But if you look closely, you will see that each letter has the same kind covers is covered by kind of like the same uh, part of my visual right here. And this is not the best thing I could do. So I'm going to simply rearrange this by starting at the beginning, then coming a little bit more to the right, and then even more, and then this one all the way to the end. So now we have the nice free texture inside of these letters, which looks pretty cool. And uh, of course, we could have gone with another sort of gradient. So we could go. Um, I have another folder here with only some gradients. So let's have a look at what's in there. We could have a nice green color gradient like this one. This looks pretty cool. So same process, I'm going to drop my gradient into each of the letters and then I'm going to readjust starting from the beginning and then trying to simulate this change of light across my word free here. 
by simply trying to sweep this visual that I'm using for the letters from left to right to kind of have a different feel in every letter. So this looks pretty good. I can even reduce the size a little bit more in order to give this more finesse, I would say. Then I could space out the letters if I wanted to, but this looks already pretty good. So let's just space out the letters. So one, two, one, two, one, and one, and then these two, one this way. So now we have the three. I'm going to select all, group this, and position this at the center of my design. There we go. We have a free. We can maybe do one more thing is to add some kind of a paint stroke underneath the word free. The only downside to these guys is that you don't have the luxury of choosing your font. There is only one font that will allow you to do this, and that is the font of the letter grids, no, the letter frames, sorry. So if you go to your frames, you will see that there is only one sort, one set of letters, and it is with this specific font. So it would be super cool for Canva to add more of these letter uh, frames because they are really useful. But for the time being, this is what we have. So let's find our stroke. Uh, we will find this under the element. Mm, yes. And the idea is to use something similar. So we could use something like that. Or we could reproduce a gradient from scratch because they have some nice um, gradients that we can use and strokes in the gradient. So let me show you what I mean by this. If we go to the elements and search for gradient. OK. For example, this looks nice, make this smaller, but big enough so that it covers the whole word. And then uh, we are going to use the same colors as in our word here. So maybe use the color picker. I'm using a color picker, which is not part of Canva, but uh, does the job. This is the eyedropper color picker. I've talked about this already in other tutorials. Uh, it is my best compa companion. And I really hope that Canva is going to one day add their own color picker. Should have been done by now. I don't know what they're waiting for. It doesn't seem so hard to create a color picker. All right, so now I have uh, color picked another color here. This color right here, let's see if we add it to this gradient. Yep, this looks pretty nice. So all I can do now is center this a little bit better like this. All right, so now we can see the result. We have a high contrast visual with the word free uh, that we filled with a gradient. And then we have a stroke that is also a gradient with the same colors. So uh, play around with this. I would be very curious to see your creations with the letter frames uh, filled with gradients or textures or anything that looks good, actually. Uh, so if you are watching this tutorial on Facebook, please post your creation in the comment section. Uh, that would be fun for us to review. And if you're looking this tutorial, uh, if you're watching this tutorial from YouTube, from our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss one of our tutorials. We have a bunch of tutorials about Canva we publish every week so that you can learn and you can become a better designer with Canva. So that's it for this week, guys. Uh, I wish you a very good week, a very productive week, and I will talk to you in the next video.